Welcome back everybody, Big Mess, Mess of Branch Outdoors. In today's fly tying tutorial, we are going to tie this real quick, simple egg pattern using the Semperfly Ecstatic eight millimeter. It's super quick, let's not waste no time. Let's get into it so you folks can get out on the water fishing. So the hook I'm gonna be using today is a jig style hook, size 14. The one I just tuck out of my Norvice fly tying system it was a size 12. Feel free to use any hook size you want in the appropriate size egg material that you want to use as well. I am going to be using an orange bead on this one right here. It is from Moonlit Fly Tying. It's fluorescent orange in a 3.0 millimeter. So what I did right there is I took some Semperfly thread and I got a little thread base started. And I'm down partially here in my hook shank and I want to be a tie-in point about right there. The next step we're going to do is I'm going to take some of this ecstatic material and this is actually going to be peach and I'm going to use peach because currently here in our waters this is working well and the contrast color of the bead just adds a little hot spot to it. That's all we're going to do. We're going to take our material, we're going to strip some of that chenille off. We're going to grab a hold of that rope, real similar to tying a mop fly per se. Honestly, when it comes to prepping that material, I want to bring my thread up, put in a half hitch. And this is what's cool about this. If you've tied eggs, you know it can be a pain in the you know what. But what's cool about a Norvice, boom, I've spun it up just like so. I am there. I've made some wraps and we got us a nice little egg. I'm going to bring my thread over here off the bobbin holder. I'm going to capture that material and I'm going to secure it there with some wraps. Then I'm going to take my scissors, reach in here and trim that off. I like to leave my materials pro tip for you on the cards. That way you're not wasting material as you cut and you have just maybe an inch left here, an inch left there. And the next thing you know, you look in your waste basket and like, man, I could have had maybe four or five more flies or a half dozen or so out of that material. All we gotta do right there now is we have to do a little quick whip finish on that. My friends, it doesn't get any quicker than that when it comes to tying eggs. The cool thing about this egg static material is that it actually has some flash in it there, some pearl essence, and when this gets wet, it's perfect. Now, as I mentioned, this one's a 14. This one is a size 12. Feel free to tie these in various sizes for the fish that you're targeting. But currently here where we're at, here on our Tuckasegee rivers and other waters, these are catching quite a few fish. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to join the Mesa Branch Outdoors family. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and share this video. Thank you to everybody who's been chiming in where you're at out there. We've got folks in Canada. We got folks in New Mexico. We got folks here in Western North Carolina. Thank you, thank you to everyone out there. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. The link is going to be down below in the description. Also, the link to Norvice will be down below in this description as well. Appreciate you folks watching. Tie some of these up. Go out there and catch you folks some fish. Y'all take care. See you next week.